my main occupation, I'm a software engineer, computer scientist, security oper operations uh, technologist, and I, why, what do I have to do with the performing arts on stage? Well, actually, if you have something to show in your lab, in your research lab, and uh, you never get it out there to the real world, to the real production, it's kind of not as satisfying as much. So I joined Dr. Miao Song uh, to work on the illimitable space system for real-time motion graphics for stage. So we could augment performing arts with a motion capture and put something interesting. We tried different public spaces, but our real first production was in 2013, the Ascension Dance during the Chinese New York Gala show. So we tried, let's, let's put it out there. Let's see how audience perceives it and how it all works. So we went there, we brought a big bulky computer, monitors, some cables we had in the lab, and it didn't work because we were never ready for the stage. We didn't never knew how the stage works. What kind of cables we need? How do we put the things all the way to the booth, to the projector, to uh, how do we connect our sensors? Our cables are not long enough. All kinds of technical difficulties arose, and in six hours, the show starts. We managed to pull it off. It was successful. It actually encouraged us to go out and do other performances. We went internationally in Beijing. We went uh, uh, in Montreal. We were again doing a few other things in LA and in District 3 demo day. We did a few shows projecting on people. So that, that experience actually enriched us significantly to continue and to maintain this system. Um, two of us were not enough. Uh, we couldn't scale anymore. So we actually engaged lots of students to work with us and to enhance this performance and the system. So we have a multidisciplinary team of software engineers and computer scientists who work and write beautiful code, beautiful software architecture and algorithms, and we have computation art students who do the beautiful design. Um, likewise, you have to do your acceptance testing, that's what you do in software engineering, to, with actual artists on stage. And for, the only way to do that is to be agile and to be flexible, and that's how you develop the, the software architecture for this. So, and some of our software engineering students, even uh, one of them, she was so inspired and she rediscovered her talent for dance. So she was actually performing in one of our shows after developing and debugging and deploying this system. So the challenge here is real time. So you see here, I'm actually being captured with different camera, the depth. That's where the software engineering aspect comes in. Real time is challenging because things might not work or they don't work as expected to work. Um, so this is really um, a thrill to it, actually. So you try to put this test, see how lighting interacts with, it, with your system, how other things do with your system, and try to get a good show so people could appreciate the art of performance and all the visuals that come with it. So that's what essentially we do. We extract the body shape of a person in real time. We extract the skeleton of this, and then we put the visuals together. And all the students that we're talking about, multidisciplinary students from computation arts, from software engineering, um, they have to work together to make it possible to have all these visuals running like they are now. Um, so uh, this aspect of engagement of the students, student participation, and the fact that we have multidisciplinary teams is actually the today's age. So no longer you can pull it out alone. So you have engineers with a product in the lab, you have visionaries, you have uh, entrepreneurs with business plans and artists with good concepts and design, but they need to act as a team to produce something and put it on stage. So um, this, the software engineering, as I mentioned, where my nerdy part comes back to me, uh, is we need a lot of algorithms. We need computer vision techniques. We need pattern recognition, machine learning, AI. So we can capture the depth and analyze it like you see here now. There is a depth image and we abstract that image, we get a contour. So we can take this contour, put a texture map on it, 
and put something around that information and put it together. You can also capture something like a skeleton. With the skeleton, you can have your joints and you can put some interesting visuals based on those joints into different space within your theatrical performance. So coordination between artists, between programmers, between software engineers is paramount here and the only way to achieve it is to be agile, uh, the agile type of me uh, methodologies that we do. So um, I hope I convince you of that, that the only way to do that is to work collaboratively together. So before I finish, um, we have something to show you. So, and now uh, I'm going to have a performance, a live performance. Before with the Illimitable Space System, we only had it done for theater and, and dance. Now, the first time ever here in, at TEDx Concordia, we, we, we do it with martial art. And that should be quite a thrill too. So from Feng Huang uh, Wushu School, please welcome applaud to Fung and Brian for the live performance. <laughs> <laughs>